Hello and welcome to Spectrum Sphere, where we dive into the vibrant world of knowledge and uncover the wonders of a myriad of topics. Today, we're unraveling the rich tapestry of fashion history. If you're passionate about the evolution of style, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more captivating discoveries delivered to you every week. Fashion is more than just clothing. It's a form of communication and self-expression, a way to showcase individuality and cultural identity. Throughout history, fashion has been pivotal in reflecting societal norms, marking status, and even inspiring social change. It weaves its significance into the very fabric of human culture. Journeying back to the birth of attire, the earliest known clothing served a purely functional purpose. Created from animal skins, leaves, and other natural elements, these garments provided our ancestors with protection from harsh environmental factors, demonstrating that the primary intent of early apparel was survival rather than style. Ancient Egyptian fashion was a direct reflection of social hierarchy. The pharaoh and nobility adorned themselves with fine linen garments and ornate jewelry, signaling their elevated status. Meanwhile, commoners wore simpler, looser clothing. Hieroglyphs and artifacts depict these distinctions, underscoring fashion's role in the social fabric of the time. Moving on from the fashion of the pharaohs, we traverse to ancient Greece, where garment styles were notably distinct. The Greeks favored the chiton, hematian, and peplos, clothing that exemplified both function and grace. These draped garments varied in length and were typically fastened with intricate clasps or pins. In ancient Rome, the toga was more than just clothing. It was a symbol of Roman citizenship and prestige. Reserved for citizens alone, togas were large, draped garments made of wool. Women, on the other hand, wore stolas, which were long, sleeveless, sleeveless tunics, often accompanied by a shawl. Both signified social status within the Roman society. As we move into the Middle Ages, clothing evolved significantly. Garments became more fitted, and the introduction of tailoring added shape and structure. Different classes wore distinct styles, with the wealthy flaunting embroidered fabrics and furs, while the peasantry donned simpler, more durable attire, reflecting both the social stratification and the practical needs of the times. During the medieval era, the church wielded considerable influence over fashion. Sumptuary laws controlled what could be worn, often to reinforce social hierarchy and morality. Clergy were garbed in humble vestments to symbolize piety, while luxurious fabrics and extravagant adornments were reserved for high-ranking church officials, speaking to the complex interplay between faith and status. As we emerged from the medieval period, the Renaissance bloomed, bringing forth a fashion revolution characterized by opulence and fine craftsmanship. Clothing became more form-fitting, showcasing embroidered fabrics, rich velvets, and silks. This era's attire, adorned with jewels and elaborate designs, mirrored the period's flourishing art and newfound humanism. In Elizabethan England, fashion served as a symbol of status and wealth. The iconic Spanish farthingale, a hooped petticoat, reigned supreme, giving skirts their distinctive bell shape. This era favored extravagance, with ruffs, ornate gowns, and embellishments, reflecting the grandiosity of Queen Elizabeth's court and the period's rigid social hierarchy. As we delve into the Baroque period, fashion took a dramatic turn. Characterized by opulence, clothing featured luxurious fabrics and elaborate decorations, mirroring the grandeur of European courts. The Rococo era later softened this extravagance with lighter, more playful designs, introducing intricate lace and pastel colors to the fashion world. In the 17th century, we witnessed a key milestone in menswear, the introduction of the three-piece suit. Heralded by Charles II, this ensemble paired a coat with matching breeches and a vest, a style influenced by the king's desire for a more modest court attire, shaping men's fashion for centuries to come. As we move into the Industrial Revolution, profound changes swept through clothing production. Mechanization meant garments could be mass-produced, making fashion more accessible. The sewing machine, invented in the 19th century, revolutionized the industry, increasing the speed of production and enabling the rise of ready-to-wear fashion. Transitioning into the Victorian era, fashion celebrated excess and opulence. 
The crinoline, a wide hoop skirt, gave dresses a voluminous silhouette, symbolizing status. Later, the bustle, which accentuated the backside, became en vogue, further exemplifying the period's fascination with elaborate designs and the emphasis on a woman's shape. As the Victorian era progressed, fashion took a turn towards simplicity. The voluminous silhouettes of crinolines and bustles began to fade, replaced by more practical and streamlined garments. This shift mirrored the societal changes of the time as women sought greater freedom and mobility in their attire. Sweeping into the 1920s, fashion underwent a dramatic liberation, mirroring the decade's exuberant spirit. The iconic flapper dress burst onto the scene with its dropped waistline and shorter hem, embodying the era's zest for life and the burgeoning independence of women. These bold styles became a hallmark of the roaring 20s. And then came Coco Chanel, the pioneer who turned the tide of women's fashion. Her timeless designs introduced comfort and chic simplicity, doing away with the restrictive corsets of the past. Chanel's little black dress and the introduction of casual jersey materials redefined femininity, empowering women with a new, modern silhouette. Transitioning from Chanel's revolution, the 1930s to 1950s saw Hollywood take the fashion reins. Silver screen icons like Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe became style benchmarks. Glamorous gowns, structured suits, and the irresistible allure of cinema fashion influenced mainstream trends, making Hollywood an indisputable arbiter of style and glamour. As the 1950s dawned, a new demographic emerged as fashion trendsetters, the teenagers. This era witnessed the birth of the teenager as a distinct cultural group with its own unique style. Denim jeans, leather jackets, and poodle skirts became symbols of youthful rebellion and individuality, forever changing fashion's landscape. The 1960s brought forth the unisex fashion movement, blurring the lines between men's and women's clothing. Iconic elements like mini skirts, bell-bottoms, and tie-dye crossed gender barriers, embodying the decade's spirit of freedom and nonconformity. This era celebrated personal expression through a bold, colorful, and revolutionary wardrobe. As the 70s dawned, fashion took an audacious turn. The disco craze popularized glitzy, glamorous outfits with shimmering fabrics and flared trousers dominating dance floors. Simultaneously, the punk movement arose as an antithesis advocating for a gritty aesthetic with ripped jeans, leather jackets, and defiant accessories like studs and safety pins. Moving into the 1980s, power dressing became the emblem of success and self-assertion. Shoulder pads widened, suits sharpened, and colors grew bolder. This was the era where fashion echoed ambition, with influencers like Margaret Thatcher and the characters of Dynasty setting the standard for the corporate wardrobe's commanding presence. As the 1990s dawned, fashion took a glamorous turn, marked by the dominance of designer labels and the supermodel phenomenon. Iconic fashion houses like Versace, Gucci, and Chanel became household names, their logos symbols of luxury and status. This era celebrated the supermodel. Figures like Naomi Campbell and Kate Moss became as influential as the designers themselves their faces defining a decade of style. Transitioning into the 21st century, technology redefined the fashion landscape. Innovative materials and digital printing revolutionized garment construction, while e-commerce platforms transformed how we shop. Social media ushered in an era of instant trend propagation, and the rise of wearable tech began merging fashion with functionality in unprecedented ways. As we delve into more recent trends, we encounter fast fashion, an industry characterized by rapid production to meet the latest styles. Unfortunately, this comes with a heavy environmental price. Mass production leads to increased waste and pollution as the relentless demand results in overconsumption and a substantial carbon footprint. In contrast to fast fashion, the slow fashion movement advocates for sustainability urging both consumers and producers to prioritize eco-friendly practices. It emphasizes ethical manufacturing, durable materials, and timeless design, striving to reduce the environmental impact while fostering a more conscious approach to consumption and a greater appreciation for well-crafted garments. As we shift gears from the runways to our feeds, 
the influence of social media on fashion cannot be overstated. Platforms like Instagram and TikTok have democratized style, allowing trends to surge and recede at breakneck speeds. Influencers and bloggers now hold the power to propel a look to viral status, reshaping how trends are born and evolve in the digital age. The fusion of high-end couture and urban streetwear has redefined contemporary fashion. Luxury brands collaborate with streetwear designers, blurring lines between exclusivity and accessibility. This symbiosis has led to iconic collections that resonate with a diverse audience, celebrating a style that is both elevated and grounded in street culture. As we peer into the future of fashion, we're greeted by smart clothing and innovative materials that respond to our body and environment. Imagine garments that change color based on temperature or fabrics that can monitor health. This intersection of technology and textiles is crafting the next frontier in fashion evolution. Today, fashion transcends mere functionality. It's a vibrant form of personal expression and identity. Individuals mix genres, cultural references, and trends to proclaim their unique style narratives. The clothes we choose act as a visual language, signifying our values, moods, and affiliations in an ever-evolving cultural landscape. And that concludes our journey through the dynamic evolution of fashion. We hope you've enjoyed this tapestry of styles that have adorned humanity through the ages. Thank you for tuning in to Spectrum Sphere. If you appreciated this exploration, please show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing for more diverse and engaging content.